at Boris and Barbara's house, Boris and Barbara were decorating the living room. A cold draught blew through the window. Boris, please will you fetch some logs from the pile outside so that we can light the fire? Yes, of course, said Boris. And he went out at once. It was even colder outside. I'm glad I cut those logs in the summer, Boris thought. Now they can make a cosy fire and keep us warm. Suddenly, Boris heard the sound of barking in the distance. He turned around. That sounds like Snuffy, he thought. He called out, Snuffy? Snuffy! Snuffy answered with a bark. I'd better go and see, said Boris. He put the log back on the pile and walked towards the woods. As Boris got closer, he noticed something red shining through the trees. I wonder what it is, he thought. When he got there, he saw Snuffy barking at a red balloon high up in a tree. Hello, Snuffy, said Boris. Have you found a pretty balloon to play with? I think we'll need a ladder, though, to get it out of there. Wait here and I'll get one. Just as Boris was taking the ladder out of the shed, Barbara came round the corner looking for him. Boris! I thought you were fetching logs for the fire. I was, answered Boris. But then I heard Snuffy barking. There's a red balloon stuck in a tree. Oh, said Barbara. Shall I help you carry the ladder? Together they carried the ladder to the woods, where Snuffy was still barking. They put the ladder against the tree. And Boris climbed it. Be careful, Boris, said Barbara. But Boris managed to free the balloon. Then Barbara noticed an envelope at the end of the ribbon. Look, she said, there's something tied to the balloon. It looks like it's a letter for Snuffy. Barbara opened the envelope. I think it's an invitation for a New Year's Day party. But who's it from? Hmm, said Boris. I suppose Snuffy knows where the party is. But now I'm going to take the logs indoors, as I said I would. They walked back towards the house together. Snuffy wagged her tail, happy to have the balloon at last. Two bright balloons dance in the sky. Can you tell where they'll fly? Now the yellow drifts away. Just the green is left to stay. In Miffy's house, Miffy and Melanie were fast asleep. They woke up and smelt something delicious. I wonder what that smell is. Let's go and find out. The two girls followed the smell into the kitchen. Good morning, Miffy and Melanie, said Mother Bunny. Tomorrow is New Year's Day, so I've baked a cake for us all. Would you like to make some special New Year's biscuits, she asked. 
Miffy and Melanie thought that was a good idea. First, they flattened the lump of dough. Next, they rolled it smooth and thin. Then they began to cut out the shapes. Look, this one is a star, said Melanie. And mine is a tree, said Miffy. When there was no more dough left, Mother Bunny put the plate in the oven. While the biscuits are baking, you can get dressed. Then I'll take you to Auntie Alice's for your dancing lesson, said Mother Bunny. Miffy and Melanie cheered. Hooray! This holiday is so much fun! I've got a surprise for you today, said Auntie Alice. I've made a special dance and I'm now going to teach it to you. Dance with good rhythm is what you should do. Follow the piano and you'll hear it too. From one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, wait. You must count exactly, so do concentrate. Make two small steps forward and one small step back. And now turn around with your hands on your back. Lift up your arms, make sure they are round. Clapping your hands, stamp on the ground. Very good, said Auntie Alice. Aggie suddenly said, Look! It started snowing again! Auntie Alice? asked Miffy. Can we go out and play in the snow? Of course you can, said Auntie Alice. The girls had a lot of fun in the snow. Miffy was hit by a snowball and fell. Just then, Miffy noticed something yellow sticking out from under a tree. What could it be? Look, Melanie, said Miffy. It's the invitation we made for Auntie Alice. An invitation for me? Auntie Alice asked. What for? It's an invitation to our New Year's party tomorrow, said Miffy. Will you come? Of course I will, said Auntie Alice. Thank you very much for inviting me. And thank you, Clever Yellow Balloon, for having found the way here all by yourself. One green balloon up very high, bobbing brightly in the sky, floating over fields of snow Tell me green worm where you'll go At Boris and Barbara's house Boris was looking out of the window There's still some snow he said It's a beautiful day for a walk Yes, said Barbara Let's go over to Miffy's house and wish her Happy New Year because it was getting late, Boris took along a lantern for later. In the forest, they met Snuffy. Hello, Snuffy. You must be going to your New Year's party, said Barbara. Snuffy gave a happy bark and walked in the very same direction that Boris and Barbara were going. Hmm said Barbara. Perhaps Snuffy's invitation came from Miffy. But before they could think about that, there was another surprise. Hello Snuffy, hello Barbara, hello Boris, they heard. It was Poppy and Grunty. Happy New Year! 
And a happy new year to you too, said Boris. Where are you going? We were coming to your New Year's party, said Poppy. Our New Year's party? said Barbara, surprised. But we're not giving a party. Oh, said Grunty. Then I wonder who this invitation is from. Well, said Boris, it looks as if that invitation was meant for Barbara and me. Oh, said Grunty again. Don't worry, Grunty, said Barbara. I think the New Year's party is at Miffy's house and I'm sure we'll all be welcome. <laughs>